Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the Just Kenji channel. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a new Bleach game. Now, this new Bleach game is a Battleground game. Yes, I know you guys are tired of Battleground games, but please, please just watch the video and check out this game. This game is really well made and it's really good. If you guys are new to the channel, please like this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. So, the first thing I'm going to show you guys about the game is the shop feature. So the shop feature is right here. The good currency that you can see right there, you need to get kills. I think they give you like 1 or 50 per kill. I'm not sure as yet. But yeah, you get those currency from killing people. You can also buy them right here. And if you turn back to the video, you will see that all the shop options they have there. But yeah, you can buy them for a cheap amount of Robux. I mean, 80 for 20 Robux is pretty good. And like, you get like 2,000 for only 300 Robux, which is pretty nice. Now let's jump into this showcase. Now, the first skill is Cross Slash. It's two gets to get slashes, well, mini gets to get slashes. And then you have a jump one. You have a jump version, which is an aerial version right there. It's pretty good. Now, that's pretty for those. Now, the second skill is Gets to get Tensho. Now, you got a Gets to get Tensho right here. Now, this is the guard break of the kit. Cross Slash is blockable. And this is the guard break of the kit right here, which is Gets to get Tensho. Now, the only thing I could showcase to you guys is, of course, Ichigo's base only. The only thing I could showcase is the base, not because the Awakeners are media banned, because they're still trying to cook on those, but the thing that I could showcase fully is, of course, Ukiura, Ukiura first form, second res, and the base. So, yeah. Now, the other skill is Spiritual Awareness. Basically, you have the Spiritual Awareness right here, and it's, counter, it's a counter. It's a counter, which you can use in combat right now. So, as you can see, you grab them from their head, slam them to the floor, and you can combo extend with it with like a crash slash or the fourth skill that we have right here, Omega Slash. Now, this is the ground version of Omega Slash. You spin around the person, slam them into the floor, then slash them away. Yeah, so you can slam them to the floor with the special awareness, then use the Omega Slash. Now, Omega Slash has an aerial version, as you can see, boom, pretty similar to the Sonic version. Now, on the side thing, now, a thing that you guys need to notice is that you see on the side right there, that is your Ryatsu bar. Basically, this game is Ryatsu. You won't be spamming your skills because you need to charge up your Ryatsu. Now, let's jump into Ukiora. Now, Ukiora. The first skill is, of course, Finger Zero. A base looking ability that he has in every game, ABN, Anime, Showdown. Now, this game is very similar to Anime Showdown, if you guys didn't know about the charge meter and etc. Then, the second skill is the Rapid Trusses. Then, the third skill is uh, Bala. Boom. Bala has a good range, it's pretty good for just like chip damage if the person is running away from you. Now, cool thing about this game is that in base, for every character you will have flash tips, which is pretty nice. I think I dislike about Battlegrounds is that how slow you are in your base compared to your awakening. Now you get flash tips in your base, which is pretty cool. Then you have Sonido Stab, boom. Now, let's jump into the resurrection. So the first res, as you can see right here, Murchilago. Now, Murchilago, pretty cool animation, you get the wings, the the horns and then also get the spare now it's pretty cool so the first thing is the spare the spare has good range the spare range is really good but let's jump into it so i'm gonna kill the dummy back here and show you guys the range of it so the first range of the spare throw is pretty good so you throw it from here boom and as you can see if you look into my arm basically when you throw the spare the spare just disappears like it disappears from arms and then you just rematerialized in your arm again so that's pretty cool now the other one is sky smash flop into the sky smash down boom now this move is very interesting i think this is how you're gonna like do like start off your combos or just getting any damage because i don't think you can combo with this skill maybe it could be a combo in there slam it to the floor and then you hurry jump up and then slam it down to the floor now i don't know how that move is gonna work but then we have star oscaris which is a upgraded version of your finger zero just does a lot more damage and yeah now spear rain spear rain goes wherever your mouse is so wherever your mouse is you just point it towards there now let's jump on to the segunda so the segunda now the Segunda animation is pretty cool. Now, the thing about the Segunda, which we're going to be talking about in a bit, that some of these moves are questionable, and only one of them is questionable in my personal opinion. But yeah, this is the model for the Segunda, and yeah, pretty cool. Now, the first skill, upgraded Sir Oscars. Get a huge damage boost, and it's way bigger than it was before. Really good move. Really do like it. Now, the second skill is one that is very interesting, <laughs> okay? But yeah, I'll show you guys now. So, the second skill. Now, I don't know how you're going to land this in PvP, but... <laughs> You see this right here. Well, you aim this thing. I don't know how it's really yeah, you move it with A and D. So you just point it towards where you're gonna go. Then you summon the Lanza. Then you just nuke. Just do a big nuke. Yes, you just nuke the area. Now, the only way I think this will work, I don't think it's gonna work in a PvP because I think it's cancelable as well. But I'm not I didn't check it. But I don't think it's cancelable, but we'll see. Now the cool thing about it is you can aim it from across the map and this game has multiple maps you can switch between the maps for you but yeah as you can see right here 
boom, just drop a whole nuke on them, <laughs> which is insane. And it does a hell of a lot of damage, just so much. Now, let's finish the video. Let's go on to the Cerro Grab and then the last skill. So, Cerro Grab. You grab the person, you fly towards them, pretty much like a lot of go from Reaper 2, just grab them, and boom. Now, the last move we have here is Spear Rain. Uh, it's upgraded now. It does. It's way bigger spears, and as you can see, boom. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the game so far. That's all I'm gonna be showing you guys in today's video. I'll tell you guys when Stark is done, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Get you sign off and peace.